This is Ozark's Fox AM. Good morning and welcome to Ozark's Fox AM on this thankful Thursday. Yes. I'm Jeremy Rabe. You are. And I'm Kelly Smith. Thank you for joining us. Um, I thought of another one. Uh, thankful and um, therapeutic. <gasps> mm, I love it. about that? I just need to figure out how we're going to get therapy today. What can we well, do to get therapy? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to have oh. some comfort food later on. That's therapy for me. Oh, yeah. Can you tease what the comfort food is? Um, well, I can just flat out tell you. Oh. <laughs> how would that work? <laughs> We're going to be dishing it later in the second half. Uh, we're going to have some Mediterranean turkey skillet stuff. Mediterranean turkey skillet stuff. That's what we're having. That's right. But hmm. even better, a real cook's in the yeah. house today. Chef Mark Millman from the Chateau is here. And I yeah. heard a rumor that he's making uh, mashed potatoes, green beans, <gasps> and a pork chop. Now, that's what I'm talking, comfort food. Now, that, that is That is food. therapeutic, absolutely. That is one way to feel happy. I, you know, they, they say you should not, um, when you're upset, eat, or when you're happy, eat. You shouldn't use food. No, for, and, and it's, but, not, it's not that, but, but they do call it comfort food because it's just so satisfying is what it is. And I'll be honest, too. My mom, growing up, she would make the best homemade mashed potatoes, pork chops, I love green these beans. stories. I'm telling you that I think they say comfort because it takes you back to another place in time maybe that takes a memory that goes, oh, remember when I lived at home and I didn't have any bills? Oh, yeah. And I didn't have a true. mortgage. And mom and dad were there. And all I had to do was homework and go to school and eat my mom's amazing cooking. That's all. I mean. Jeremy, you don't know how lucky you are. And, uh, and uh, I'm not talking bad about my mom. She does, she'll tell you she does not like to cook, okay? You know what that just reminded me of? And you're like, what? when you say somebody, no offense, but. Yeah, no, then you no, know no, offense no. is coming. And, and my mom is in Tulsa, but I would say the same thing to her. But honestly, um, she's like, who wants an egg? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> because the egg, when you would put it, the fork in the middle, it'd flip up on the sides. It's kind of like a rubber egg, you know. Mom just, she just, that wasn't her thing, but she's a great gardener, and she raised us to say our prayers in the morning, and she gave us a lot of great things, but the cooking, not so much. Can I brag on my mom for just yes, one quick second? Yes, please do, because she's a great cook. She's an amazing cook, and I have to remember one of my most memorable birthdays. Mm -hmm. She had got a new, she had seen this um, cake pan on TV. Mm hmm and it was a cake pan that had lots of squares in it. So you could make shapes oh. with the cake pan. So for my birthday, she made six cakes. And each cake spelled out J-E-R-E-M-Y. That is incredible. Put it on this huge cardboard. She had wrapped it in foil. Had six cakes. It spelled my name. And each cake was decorated differently. That is incredible. I mean, is that not Jeremy, a great memory? Do you memory? realize what a great childhood you have? I, oh, I, I do. Really and I did. feel bad for my nephews and nieces because I don't think their childhood is nearly as good as mine. I'm going to tell you. Someday I'm going to write a book. <laughs> I'm going to write a book. It was the Wild West at my house. I bet it was. It was the Wild West. It's, it's eat or, or get eaten. That's right. At your house, was yeah. it like hurry up and eat before everybody got all the food? You know how sometimes they no. said you had to eat quick or you didn't eat at all? No. No. It really wasn't like that mm. at all. Uh, I, I would venture to say I had a stranger upbringing than most, most folks around. Was it um, mom's cooking, let's order pizza? No, we didn't even order pizza because it was bad for you, so you couldn't have that. It, if, if it came out of a box, we did not eat it. Oh, why, why no. did you kind of like that? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Mom tried. She really did. We had a lot of beans and, and brown rice and a lot of good things like that. She was interested in us staying healthy. Mom and Dad would fight about the kinds of cereals. No sugar cereals. Couldn't have those. So No Lucky Charms? Absolutely not. So when I got out, I ate a whole box of Captain Crunch when I got out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly's like, I don't I care. Went, wow. I'm and, and you know what? I got really sick. I, I, I just, I, I didn't, you know, throw up or anything. I just didn't feel well because that's a lot of sugar. You know what I did one time in college? What? I was upset about something, mm -hmm. and I got a whole box of Little Debbie Star Crunch Cakes. Did it make you feel better? And I ate the whole box. No, I felt horrible. I know. Afterwards. That's I a lot sick. of sugar. That's true. Anyway, I just was in there going, I'm so sad. <laughs> Let me Star just crunch, say something real Star quick crunch. before we go forward. Therapeutic. This was therapy today. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to talk all about that. Anyway. That's okay. okay. I, therapeutic Thursday. Good got job. It. Okay. Lauren Barnes. <laughs> how was your childhood? It was amazing. <laughs> okay, good. She had a good one. Good. Yeah, it no was, therapy it needed. Was awesome. No, well, I mean, everyone needs a little therapy. That's yes. We're all adults. Right. <laughs> Adulthood, you gotta, yeah, you gotta 
uh, counteract the work and the mortgage and all that. That's yes. okay. But regardless of your childhood. In fact, we have some more comfort food in a headline in a second. But first, I want to tell you guys about a headline from Yale. So Yale staff took the whole day Tuesday to add different profiles to Wikipedia. And the reason they're doing this is because they say a small percentage of Wikipedia profiles are of women, only about 17% of biographies, and an estimated 90% of editors on Wikipedia are male. So I'm wondering uh. if maybe they're taking a page out of the women's soccer team this week, fighting for equal pay for women athletes, because they held an edit-a-thon all day just devoted to adding pages of women alumni from Yale and all their accomplishments and the things that they're up to just to try and even out the scale just a little tiny bit. Huh. That's interesting. That's Can I just say how gorgeous that is, though? That, 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 <laughs> the campus. The campus uh, is yes. beautiful. My yeah, alma mater, Yale. Yeah. But I don't, have you guys ever created or edited a... That was funny, Jeremy. Thank you. Have you guys ever it. created or edited a Wikipedia page? Because I can't say that I have. I, no, I, I am not. an editor. Are yeah. you? And I've tried, and I... I don't enjoy it, and to me, it's difficult. It's not an okay. easy thing to do. So kudos to those people, because I have tried to edit a, a Wikipedia page. You know, I know a lot about pop culture, so mine's not about the yeah. science side. Right. But yeah. the pop culture side, I know a lot about it, so I'm like, oh, you know, that yeah. needs to be added. And I, I find it challenging to add to Wikipedia. So interesting stats, though, because I would not have known that, because I only wiki somebody at that moment that I need to know information right. about. So right. I would not have known right. it was so... But yeah. also interesting, because even though you say you're bad at it, you're an editor, and we aren't. Right. Oh, but it's free, and you guys can't sign up. So Which I'm not stopping you. No, apparently yeah, I'm not no, stopping no, you. absolutely. Right. No, so, okay. I'm, I'm not signing up though. <laughs> it's over my head. It's over my head. I'll sign up. There yeah. we okay. go. We can balance it out. We can help each other learn to wiki together. Okay. Okay. When right. you say wiki, I think wiki, 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 for Chicago's uh, Taste of Chicago celebration, which is coming up. This is from Eli's Cheesecake. I thought they so. said Elisa for a second there. It really did look <laughs> like Elisa. Uh -huh. She loves cheesecake. Uh, so they're putting this together this week. Those are cherries that are molded together to be the size of baseballs. Oh, That's wow. how big this cake is. It's a six-foot-tall cake, and it's served for free on Saturday, which is when Taste of the Chicago is happening. So these are the list of ingredients. Talk about unhealthy, Kelly. Wow. Talk about sugar. Yeah. 450 pounds of cream cheese. <laughs> Amen. I'm All in. All right, I'm, I'm in. Seventy mm -hmm. pounds of sugar and twenty-five pounds of graham crackers. But you know, if you just have a little piece, it's okay. Right. Yes. Isn't that beautiful? Kelly, you'd eat that whole thing. You love cream cheese. You know I would. You love it. I could probably get that eaten in about a week. <laughs> Well, it's going to take a few people, so maybe a, a trip to Chicago is in order. Can maybe. I, let's all go. Can we go for the Can show? Can we go? Can we go? Can you we know, the show you know uh, that a good cheesecake. It reminds me of the episode of Friends. When they drop the cheesecake and they're eating it yeah. off the floor because it's so good, the oh, cheesecake. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, Elisa knows what I'm talking about because we love friends. They're but literally eating it off the floor. Off the floor because it's that good. You can't stop eating. You, you got it. The five second rule goes out the window. Quick question though. Yeah, cheesecake. No. I like mine really just plain. Elisa, plain, plain. or with cherries? You don't need to no. spice up yes. cheesecake. It is perfect by itself. I don't need no peanut butter or <laughs> any of that on my cheesecake. Lauren? Okay. Berries, strawberries. And I cream. like lots of stuff and sauce, so yeah. <laughs> so yeah, okay. I kind of like it plain. Yeah. I just like it, a I nice do. creamy plain cream. Yeah, cheese. or just a little bit of strawberries, just a little bit yes. on top. But that's so about strawberries, it. perfect. Yeah. Other than that, it's good as it is. Mm. All right, that sounds good. No, now hungry. we're hungry for cheesecake. Don't oh, broke, nice. don't no. It's what is it? Don't fix what ain't broke. If it ain't no. broke, don't fix it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There we go. How's the weather? Is it broke? <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to fix the weather? We're going to have some good weather. It was broken yesterday, yes, but it's it not today, right? Good. <laughs> uh, no, it's really nice out there this morning. We've got mostly clear skies. It's 67 degrees on north and west winds, and that dew point is dropping. That dew point is that humidity value that makes it feel gross, and it's headed the other way today. 67 right now in Monette. It's 68 in Camdenton and 70 in West Plains. The dew points are dropping into the middle 60s, there's still a little bit humid to the south, but you can see we've got lower dew points from the north, and that air mass is coming south. So at, on the muggy meter, things are maybe a little bit sticky out there, but we're starting to get a little comfortable. It's not going to be bad out there today, especially compared to yesterday. Dry roads through the day, so no road hazards. Green light conditions at the pool, mostly sunny, and temperatures in the middle and upper 80s, 85 by 3 o'clock, with a very high UV index of 9. As you fire up the barbecue, we're still looking at some dry conditions. 
conditions, no storm chances today, less humid and feeling real good. Temperatures in the 70s by 9 o'clock. So 86 for a high today will feel like 86, 64 overnight, and then temperatures in the middle and upper 80s again tomorrow. Uh, we're looking at a dry stretch coming, so if you need to mow the lawn, if you put it off because of the heat and the storm chances, we'll have some dry conditions through the weekend, though it does get more humid. We've got two good days ahead as far as the humidity goes, and then we're back up to feeling like the middle and upper 90s through the weekend and early next week. That's because we're looking at the tropics. Potential tropical cyclone two right now spinning in the Gulf with 35 mile per hour winds moving west. It will strengthen and become tropical storm Barry later on today. Hurricane watch is in effect for the Louisiana coast as it makes landfall there this weekend. Then look what happens. Some of these remnants track towards the Ozarks. So we're at a minimum by Monday and Tuesday looking at clouds, increase in humidity, and maybe a couple of showers from whatever is left of Barry after the weekend. So we've got to keep an eye out for that. Jeremy Kelly. Barry, man. Mm. What, Jeremy? Elisa. <laughs> What's the matter? Do you think <laughs> that the remnants of that tropical storm will make it to the Ozarks? <laughs> It's possible. What we're, we have to see how far west or east that thing tracks. If it tracks farther to the east, then maybe we just get clipped by clouds and humidity. If it tracks a little bit more to the west, then maybe some of us get in on those showers. So we just got to keep an eye out and see first how does it make landfall and then head on up. I'm sick. I'm sick of the rain. Lisa, hmm. <laughs> I'm wondering. Um, yeah, I, I'm really glad the weather is better today. Yesterday in my car it said 82 and it felt like 100. Oh, yeah, we did hit yes. that triple digit there heat index. Oh. At 11 a.m. during the midday yesterday, I was talking about it feeling like 100. Yeah, definitely. I think you need a new scale called the Soupy scale. <laughs> soupy. On how soupy it's going to feel. Soup, soupy, do. Soup, do. Soup, Super stew, right? <laughs> Super stew, yeah. yeah. that's it. Super okay. stew, do we day? All right. <laughs> Alicia, thank you for thank all of you. your amazing weather knowledge. We, we appreciate so appreciate you, you very My much. Pleasure. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Coming up, it's our morning sports report. Yes. There's so much going on in sports. There is. Kelly know all about it. We Oh, that's anywhere. sports. We'll be back. We will. Kelly, do you yeah. think we have a chance?